will the Sri Lankan government take measures to reduce the tax burden? On the one hand, the expenses have increased. On the other, bank interests have increased. It is clear that you have to bear a lot of pressure. There is nothing impossible to understand. But what is the alternative? Some people are asking me if this will work for 225 of us as well. Yes, this tax applies to all 225 MPs as well and we will show no mercy to anyone. In order to understand that, there is no other alternative to overcome this crisis. We need to face this situation. As a government, we stopped paying debt in April of last year. But in terms of how to find a solution beyond that, the International Monetary Fund is the only way for us. So we will go and talk about restructuring. If those countries give us relief, we don't need to reduce anything. The government of that country has to bear the sacrifices made for it. All those governments hope that when a sacrifice is made for us in a foreign country, we will also bear some kind of responsibility and commitment from their people's tax money. They are not ready to shoulder the burden of the people of a foreign country. If we don't make this agreement that we are trying to make with the IMF, what will be the situation we will face? You may recall what happened from June to August 2022 and the inconveniences suffered by the people in the country. Massive political changes emerged due to the economic crisis. We have to face a situation beyond this. December This tax reduction is done according to the tax bill passed by the parliament in December. So while doing this, the amount of tax to be paid has gone up a lot with the tax exemptions that existed in the past. By now the law is in effect. These things are implemented within the legal framework. So if these things need to change further, we have to make policy decisions again and make legal amendments.